Hello guys and welcome to the last episode of our Borussia Dortmund career mode. Episode number 40. We've come a long way. We won the Bundesliga, the Champions League in year one. And we won the, uh, what's it called, Super Cup, Europa Super Cup. I don't know. And the Deutscher Pokal in season two. I can't remember if there was a German Super Cup this year, but... I have a very slight or very dark memory that there was one and that we won it. I can't remember, honestly. But if there was one, we won it, definitely. So the only trophy we didn't win was the Euro League and the, and the Premier League. That was not possible, you know. But the Euro League. And uh, that is for losers anyway, like Chelsea. But yeah, the, the tables this year. The Bundesliga, the Bundesliga. FC Bayern beat us with three points this time, unfortunately. And maybe it was a deserved victory for them. 77 points was their total tally. I can't remember how many points we had last season, but I think it was less. It was like 71 or 72. Yes, we were second. Unfortunately, Stuttgart and Hamburger SV join us in the Champions League next season. And Bayer Leverkusen and Mönchengladbach are off to the Euro League. Bruh, Köln and Kaiserslautern were demoted. As I, I think they were the promoted last season, so maybe. Maybe they belong in the white the Bundesliga, who knows, who knows. Deutscher Pokal, the only trophy we won at the end of the season. We beat Wolfsburg 3-0 in the final, but, but the important victory was over FC Bayern in the semis. That was some sweet, that was sweet, that was so sweet. I can't remember who scored, it was Royce, Louis maybe, I don't know, <laughs> I honestly don't know, it's been a while. Mainz are not demoted, Düsseldorf, they fought hard the whole season, they got to the promotion trophy and they lost at home to Mainz. I don't know, maybe it was neutral, but Mainz are staying in the Bundesliga. Copa Europe we won with goals from Louis, no it was not Louis, it was Strutman and uh, Royce maybe. 2-1 over Valencia, which was amazing, and that was our first piece of silverware this season. And then, then, the Champions League, we lost to uh, Manchester City after an amazing first half at the Emir uh, what's Etihad, yeah, but Jovetic, my god Jovetic, he scored in the last minutes or so, and City were playing in the final, but FC Barcelona beat them on penalties, which was maybe deserved, maybe not, I don't know, but Barcelona are now again on top. On top. Euro League. Inter beat Sevilla. Inter, they have young guys who have maybe, just maybe, been growing and Yes, they beat Arsenal in the semis and Sevilla beat Monaco in the semis, so interesting final, no doubt. No doubt about that. South America Cup, that is nothing for us. And Bundesliga, yeah, there you go. Now, player stats. That is Kruse, who won the Golden Boot in the Bundesliga. Schweinsteiger in second. Interesting. Louis Dewey in third with 14 goals. Huntelaar in 4th with 13. Are there any other guys? Royce in uh, shared 12th place with 9. And, and oh, yeah, Martinez in shared blah, 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 19th place with 8 goals. And he was a sub, so. Well, he had a 4 goal night. Yes, impressive, no doubt. Assists De Bruyne, the injured man, with 10. In first place and Royce in shared second place with Vanderwart. So Royce and Debrine 
my god. Louis Dewey in shared 6th place. Louis, oh my god, what a beast. Nobody else to be found. Clean sheets, Adler and Zeeler with 13. Begovic with 9 in 5th place. Lange in 15th place with 3. And Gunul, Önur Gunul, our young guy in 20th. Well, shared 17th place with Muslera. <laughs> Interesting. And yes, there was everybody. Nine yellows, yellow cards for Pekarik. Eight for Schweinsteiger, Rodriguez, Gebre, Selassie, Zambrano and Reinhardt. Yeah, nobody from our team. But Jung with two red cards in shared fourth place. Interesting. Is there anybody else? No. Yes. No, 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 no. Let's take a look at the other league. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Ekichi from Werder Bremen won the Golden Boot in the Deutsche Pokal. I know, I know there is not a Golden Boot for the Deutsche Pokal. He was the top scorer. So hats off to Ekichi. Mikitarian in shared, shared second place along De Bruyne and Kiesling. Which is amazing. Both our cams up there. Louis Dewey and Struthman with two goals and nobody else. Assists two for Lewandowski, Martinez and Goris. And they are in shared first place. Amazing. Nobody else. Clean sheets. Zeeler with three. Begovic and Lange with one. Excellent day. Nobody here. And there we go. Socrates and Zubatic both received a yellow card. No, a red card. Zubatic was sent off in the final in the 90th minute. A very bad challenge uh, against Luis Gustavo. If I remember correctly, I think I do. Promotion trophy, Müller scored one, Mali scored one, and Bebo scored one for Fortuna Düsseldorf. Uh, that's nice. Dumbia scored for uh, Valencia, and it was Louis, not Royce. Louis and Struitman scored for us, and we've won the Copa Europe. Assists, Benega and Royce, excellent. Champions Cup, Jovetic, Neymar with nine. Both played in the final. Van Persie with 7, Tevez, Juan Mata, Cruze, Chadley, Barnetta. No, Chadley was the last one who scored 6. Louis Dewey with 5, and is there anybody else? No. Assists, Louis Dewey with 4, so Louis all over the score sheet. Miktarian with 3, and nobody else. Begovic with 3 clean sheets, 8 clean sheets for Courtois. That is pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, comparing to Joe Hart with 4, and Ruffier and Ter Stegen, and De Gea, excellent. Hats off to Courtois, who has been promoted to the starter for Chelsea. Where is Czech? Where is Czech? Is he here? Can, can he be found? Uh, I don't think so. Red cards, uh, yeah, nobody in particular. Euroleague top scorer Podolski with... 11 Vitolo for Sevilla with 9 Gutierrez Zuba Lijic Muriel with 8 Excellent Yilmaz is in Roma and Benzema is in Inter I can remember that happening I can I can I didn't say I can't I can yes Assist Vitolo Vitolo was I should look him up if I were to continue this career mode which I am not but Vitolo maybe one for the future and there are those guys. I'll show you just quickly our youth academy. We have just one guy. Salih Gönül, a goalkeeper with maybe some potential. Maybe he is the brother of Önür Gönül, who knows, the younger brother from Turkey as well. Maybe one for the future, but that will never be found out. One year left for Gönül, Martinez, Predl, Daube, Hansel, Schäfer, Lewandowski, Grosskreutz and Subatic. So the next manager will have to battle those contracts. Or, well, he will have to fight for that signature on their contracts in January, hopefully. Yes, maybe. Maybe we'll never know. Squad report. Yes, the good stuff. The very excellent stuff. Begovic, 38 starts, 13 clean sheets and 7 points. Oh, match rating. He is growing, which is excellent. 
As you can remember, Weidenfeller still grew at the age of 34, which is amazing. And Begovic definitely has a bright future here at Borussia Dortmund. Jung has been growing, only 6.4 match rating average, 2 assists, and he's growing. Definitely better than Piszczek. Piszczek is probably 78 overall at the moment. Jung is only 25, so he has a bright future ahead of him also. Excellent. Subatic and Hummels both 85. Subatic scored 3 goals and Hummels scored only 1, but I can remember it was not a header. But it was off a corner. He is the captain, he is the beast. 6.9 and 6.8 for Hummels. 6.9 for Subatic. Subatic is growing and Hummels is not, which is heartbreaking. Schmelzer also growing, 27 years of age. He is getting old by FIFA standards and maybe the future manager will have to sell him and bring in maybe Alaba. Oh, no, that's not gonna happen. <sighs> maybe Alexandro from Porto or something along those lines. Just maybe. Just maybe. Three assists for Schmelzer, although he was contributing offensively, in my opinion. 6.5 average match rating, but I was more than pleased with. Schmelzer, he was amazing. Schmelle. Yes, Bender is not growing. Four goals for Bender, which is amazing. No assists, 6.4 average match rating. Could be better, but it doesn't tell the truth most of the time. I didn't like Bender though, but I did like Schmelzer. T6.5, yeah, maybe. Hello. Gundogan, 6. What? 6.3 on. 87 overall. <laughs> What a beast, 24 years old. Plus 6 for marking and short passing. This season alone. Next season he will be 99 in short passing. At least the season after that. What a beast. 2 goals and 1 assist only. Which is not that good, but I like Gundogan. More than Bender at least. The match rating, it's bullshit. Lamella, we bought him from Spurs at... No, in January, 83 overall at the age of 23, has a bright future ahead of him. One goal in the Champions League, but that was when he was with Spurs, I think. He didn't score for us, although he had the chances. Definitely, 6.2 average match rating. He's growing, so maybe in a couple seasons he'll be 85 overall, or 87, or 95. <laughs> I don't know. He needs that first goal, definitely, the monkey off his back, sooner, rather sooner than later. But yes, that is only hypothetical, he will score 10 goals in the first match of the league next season. I know that, I really know that. Royce, 13 goals, what a beast, 9 assists, 7.1 match rating average, he's not growing, why, why is he not growing? Gundogan is growing, why is Royce not growing? Well, Royce doesn't need to grow, he's already the best player ever. And he's probably coming to Man United in January. Oh my god, I'm so excited. 13 goals, 9 assists, I told you that already, what a beast. Moving on, Mkhitaryan, 83 overall, is not growing. Although he did grow 2 overall points last season. 7 goals and 5 assists, although most of those came... When I simulated, right? I think they did 6.6 .6 average match rating. I'm more than happy with Mkhitaryan. He's second fiddle to De Bruyne, after all. Then Louis Dewey, 22 goals and 12 assists. More than happy with him. I cannot remember how many he scored last season, but it was along the same amount. 7.2 average match rating. What a beast. What a beast. Arne Goris, our young guy, has the potential to be special. One goal and two assists, 75 overall at the age of 18. My freaking god, what a beast. What a beast. He's growing all over the place. 96 for strength. He is the Pogba of the future. He's our Pogba. He's our Pogba. He's from Poland, right? Belgium. Five star Wickford. What a beast. Milik, our replacement for Dukes. One goal, I can remember it. It was against Ajax. I can remember it was in the Champions League, but Ajax 
maybe 6.7 average match rating. He's definitely better than Dukes. Not growing. Hopefully in the future. Hopefully. Jackson Martinez, he had a four goal night in the Bundesliga. Eight goals and seven assists for Jackson Martinez. He is getting worse, unfortunately. Maybe has to be replaced. I don't know. 6.5 average match rating. And he's the backup to Louis, so yeah. Strutman, 5.8 average match rating. That is interesting. 6.1 in the Bundesliga. 5 goals and 3 assists. Didn't fail there. Didn't fail there. He scored the goals. He got the assists. He just... I don't know. I don't know why. He's growing. Plus 1 in all but the penalty stat in the technical department. Yeah. Excellent. I don't know why his average match rating was that bad, to be honest. Aubameyang, all the pace in the world, still 8 goals and 5 assists, 6.4 average match rating. And that, my friends, is a super sub. A super motherfucker. Aubameyang, the fastest man in the world, after Bolt. Yes, definitely a beast. A super sub by all standards. By all standards. Gross Kreutz up by 2. 3 goals and 1 assist. 6.6 average match rating. He's growing in the technical uh, department. Heading accuracy didn't grow. Long passing didn't grow. And penalties didn't grow. 6 plus in short passing and marking. So maybe Gross Kreutz is... He's definitely going the right in the right direction. Direction, yeah. 79, that's not that's not bad. That's not bad. For a player who can play pretty much everywhere. Left, mid, right, back and left back. Yeah, what a beast. Socrates, our backup defenseman, plus one in aggression. He is getting there. And and he grew by one overall. Yeah, one goal, 6.6 .6 average match rating, only 4 clean sheets in 23 appearances, which is pretty weird. Erdman scored one goal in one appearance, I know I simulated that game, he's an exciting prospect, 7.8 match rating in that game. Maybe one for the future, I don't know, maybe the next Royce. Nobody is the next Royce. Royce is the next Royce, Super Marco. Hansel. A young guy who is nothing special. Benjamina, a young guy who is... <sighs> Moving on. Anurganul. My god, what a beast. Strowing great potential. 62 overall at the age of 18. Two clean sheets in five appearances. 7.0 match rating. He did grow. He is getting there, maybe. Hopefully. Schaffer. Yeah, nothing special. I think he is an exciting prospect though. Moving on, Daube, he is. He has the potential to be special, but since we have Goris, Daube is expendable. 6.5 average match rating in 3 appearances. Bodman, his contract ex is expiring, he is nothing special. Hoffman, on the other hand, is just slightly more special. In real life, he has potential, I know that. But in FIFA, not so much. Three appearances, 6.5 average match rating. Durham, second fiddle to Jung. 6.8 match rating in nine appearances. That is no laughing matter. And he's growing all over the place. So maybe in a couple of years, Durham will get his chance to sh sh chance to shine. Yes, I got that right. Günther, our fifth center back. 6.6 .6 mm. match rating, one goal. 11 appearances, excellent. He's growing all over the place also, plus 4 overall, so maybe he has a bright future, just maybe. De Bruyne, the beast, we bought him for, for 20 million pounds from Chelsea last summer to replace Honda. 12 goals and 12 assists in 42 appearances, 6.8 match rating, and he's no match fit. He wasn't match fit for the Final quarter of the season, maybe, which was unfortunate. But yes, De Bruyne, what a beast! He's growing all over the place. Light green stats everywhere. 
My god, my, 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 my god. Definitely a step up from Honda, even though Honda was a beast. Honda was a beast. Lange, our favorite goalkeeper in the whole world. Nine appearances, four clean sheets. He's stepping up. Uh, went up by one overall. 7.3 average match rating. I think that is the best, best average match rating. After Erdman, of course. But yes, 7.3. Lange, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. Predl, our first signing in this career mode, I think. Or was it Honda? I can't remember. 6.6 .6 average match rating. He was a backup and... To be honest, I have nothing bad to say about, about him. He's 28 years old, so maybe he's getting worse soon. So yeah, who knows. Leitner still hasn't come back from loan. 75 overall at the age of 22. We have enough midfielders, so Leitner, you can stay wherever you want. Two assists in the Bundesliga. Hats off to Leitner. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? How much? 33 million. Yeah, we could get somebody. We could get somebody. Our starting 11 looks like this. Begovic, Jung, Subatic, Hamels, Schmelzer, Bender, Bundogan, Lamella, Royce, Mikit, De Bruyne, yeah, Lan Lou, we do it. Where should we strengthen our starting 11? I know Jung is under 80, but I can't name many right backs who are over 80, if you know what I mean. Jung is up there. He's one of the best young right backs in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yes, I like you. I like you. Begovic. My god. In the form of his life, as is Louis. Well, Louis' form is always that. So, yes. I hope you enjoyed this career mode. I will continue on the next gen. I can't remember if I said that I'm going on a holiday. Starting Thursday, we are going on a vacation to the Canary Islands with some friends. It will be awesome. I know, I know, I know. Hopefully, when I come back, there will be a PS4 along with a copy of FIFA 14 in the mail. And I can start my Premier League career mode. Finally. Finally. My PS4 should have arrived on the last of November. Didn't happen. I have no clue where it is. I hope it will come. I'm not counting on it. I have paid for it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yes, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I want you to tell me how much you enjoyed this career mode on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being the worst possible and 10 being the best possible. So let me know. You can use 7.5, 4.5, 10 plus. Just let me know. It's all, it's all feedback. I want to know what I did wrong. I want to know what I did right. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know everything tell me about your life tell me what are your issues what are you happy about tell me why new year is awesome tell me what you are going to do on new year's eve i'm going on a cruise <laughs> i'm going on a cruise with my girlfriend together just the two of us it will probably be amazing i know it will be but yes that's enough about me let me know about you it's time, we are over, over 500 subs already. I know it's not a lot by YouTube standards, but I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I know, I'm proud of myself. But I'm going just everywhere now, all over the place, and I want to end this episode. I still, once more during this series, want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on next gen. Bye-bye!